Number 21. What are the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations in a solution whose pH is 6.52? Okay. So basically the only thing that they gave us was that we have a pH value of 6.52. Now maybe if I can, I'm just going to, uh-oh, what happened to those things? Let's see if I could grab them. Beautiful. I'm just going to move this out of the way because hydronium, whenever you see hydronium, this is talking about H plus. Now, sometimes you might see this as H3O plus, but me personally, I like to just use um, H plus. So we will use H plus. And then for hydroxide, this is OH minus. There's no other alternative. So basically we're just looking for what's the H plus concentration and the OH minus. Now over here is a list of six equations that we're going to be using throughout this whole chapter. So, you know, depending on if your teacher or professor gives you these formulas, you might have to memorize them. So just, you know, flashcard it out, do whatever you got to do to just make sure that you have these six equations in the back of your pocket, ready to go for the next test or quiz. So basically we only have one value. So I'm just going to pinpoint, you know, and on a test or quiz, you'll run in your head, you know, which equations you can use. Now, in this case, there's only three equations that have the pH one, two, and three. Now they're looking for the H plus concentration and the OH minus. So it makes sense that I would want to find the H plus, right? Or the OH minus and pH is acidic. It's the acidic component of a acid or base. So it makes sense that I can find the H plus concentration by just doing 10 to the negative pH. That's one of your formulas. So the first thing we're going to find out is the hydronium concentration. H plus, and maybe I'll just put that in red, right? H plus equals 10 to the negative pH. So H plus equals 10 raised to the negative 6.52. So 6.52. And H plus equals, let's see, 10 raised to the negative 6.52. Now, if we want correct number of sig figs, you only take into account the sig figs after the decimal here. So since there was two sig figs after the decimal, you only are allowed to take two total sig figs. So this would be 3.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. And that's units of molarity. Anytime that we're looking up a concentration, it's always going to be molarity. So we answered basically the first question. What's the hydronium? 3.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. Now we just have to find out the OH. Now with these, there are different routes that you can go to get the same equation. But what I like to do and what makes it easier is we could either work through it the pH way or we could just work it from the H plus way. I like to always work off of, um, actually, eh, it, it's kind of it's kind of tough because if we work off of this one, we would only need to use one formula which is this formula. I just found out the H plus concentration and a KW is a standard value. So we know this, but let's just say that we didn't get this correct. That means that the next part is not going to be correct either. So it's safer to always go back to the original, but this one is going to require more steps, but either way, um, well, you'll get to the same part. Now let's just say that we just run through what we're going to have to do here. Now, in this case, we have to find the hydroxide concentration, right? Which is the OH minus. Now, technically we will find an OH minus. If you want to go the pH route, you have to find the POH first. So you first would have to convert from the pH to the POH 
And then from there, you can find the OH minus concentration. So if you want, try to do this on your own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, we already found the H plus concentration. So it would be easier to just use this one formula to get the OH minus. KW equals concentration of the two times each other, right? One is the H plus, which we just found out. And the OH minus is the one that we are um, solving for. The constant value is KW. Now, since they didn't tell us what temperature we're at, I'm going to assume that we're at room temp and the KW for room temp is one times 10 to the negative 14. So this number we have to memorize. And then we know that the H plus, we just found that out, 3.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. And we're just solving for X. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals 3.0 times 10 to the negative seventh times X. Solve for X, we just divide on each side by that H plus concentration, 3.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. These cancel, and now we have X, which was the OH minus concentration, and we'll get the answer. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 3.0, and wait a minute, what happened? There we go. 3.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. Two sig figs here, so 3.3. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative eighth. And that's also in molarity. And there we go. These are your two answers, and maybe I'll put this one in blue. So we found the hydronium concentration, and we found the hydroxide concentration. And there we go. So hopefully this makes sense, guys. If you want, just try on your own time just to see if you get the same answer if you ran this way. All right, so just let me know in the comments. Um, like this video if this helped you out. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. I would never imagine that an education channel would get this far. <laughs> but thank you so much. It's awesome that people value education. And let's just keep learning. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.